Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? All right, it has been revealed that the water fountains, uh, the drinking water fountains at East Palestine uh, High School <clears throat> have been locked with warning messages on them. And I have some of the pictures uh, to prove it. Um, the fountains are covered and locked with a warning reading danger locked out. Yeah, and the drinking fountain um, is literally has like a, a, a red cap on it and it says, you know, do not operate um, danger and it, it's and it's got like a red lock on it. All right. And here it's I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Look at this. Now, if you remember, on February 15th, municipal officials in East Palestine claimed that the water in East Palestine is safe to drink. But on February 16th, look what was posted on Twitter. And it's it's like it's almost like you you just don't know who to believe, who to trust. It's very strange. Now, you, you guys know who Erin Brockovich is, right? I mean, she's had a movie made after her and everything, Julie Roberts, right? Now, she is an environmental advocate and a legal consultant. And she said that many locals in East Palestine are being gaslit, that her term, okay, gaslit, to believe that nothing is wrong with the water. Well, if nothing's wrong with the water, then why are they putting these these caps, red caps with the locks on drinking fountains in, the, in, in, in the high schools. I mean, you don't do that and then say nothing's wrong. That, that's, that's definition of gaslighting. And that, you know, the, and then to say that the air is safe to breathe, despite what's being reported, You know, I mean, hang on. But yet people are coughing, being, you know, especially the asthmatics, okay? Because also, listen to this. Not only uh, are people who, the residents of Ohio in East Palestine reporting rashes and headaches, they're now saying that their voice sounds as if they have inhaled helium. They, they're saying that they sound like Mickey Mouse, but yet the air is safe to breathe. N there, nothing is adding up here. When officials are telling you it's safe to drink, it's safe to breathe, it's safe to this, it's safe to that, but yet I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to believe the residents of East Palestine, Ohio. They're the ones that are living there. They're the ones that are dealing with this every single day. I'm not going to believe an official who, especially Pete, who <laughs> took 10 days to respond 20 days to show up okay the, something is definitely wrong here and then they're shipping the wastewater to texas the, nothing is sounding right with any of this nothing nothing 
this is like the biggest slap in the face to say that the people of East Palestine are frustrated and furious is an understatement. They can't even get real information or help from both local officials, this administration, It's like no one really actually seems to care. And it's so sad. These people are actually suffering so bad. If it wasn't for some uh, uh, content creators that went there and handed people money and said, here, go get some clean water, go buy some food these people would probably be starving and dehydrated. I wish I knew what to do. I feel like my hands are tied. Jesus. All right. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Uh, I, I have more digging to do, okay? Uh, you guys stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fear less. Ciao.